Hello friends, it's Liz Holloway here and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a fluttering hummingbird using the You Move Me bundle from Stamping Up. As well, I'm going to use Misty because I want to mass produce these cards as I find them awesome cards to give away to other people. And you see how the uh, hummingbird just flutters as you pull up the uh, the little tab card. And so this is the insert, and so this is what I'm going to show you. So let's get started. You're going to need the You Move Me die, and you're going to use the grid um, portion of the die as well as the uh, one inch half circle. Um, and I say one inch because it actually is a one inch circle that will fit. Now you can also, you're going to need the You Move Me stamp set and we're going to use the Hummingbird uh, 1 and 2 as well as the Misty. When laying your grid die down, position it onto the panel as well as the half circle and secure it with your washi tape. Then you're going to run it through your big shot and you'll probably need to crank it crank the shaft back and forth two times to get the grid to cut all the way through your cardstock. If it doesn't cut all the way through, add a shim to your die cut and it will eventually cut. I am doing a mass production, so I cut an additional four more panels and I'm removing the remnants of the uh, die cut pieces. Now that my pieces are ready, I am ready to stamp and using my Misty. All the measurements will be on my blog and I will link it to the end of this video. For those who don't want all the fussy die cutting and cutting, I do offer a mass production kit so that you ha all you have to do is stamp and piece the pieces together. They are like paper pumpkin, but all you need is Misty, inks, and dimensionals. Okay, so here I've got this insert and I have inserted into the bottom left corner of my Misty and I'm making sure that it is lined up to the angle of the Misty. Position your hummingbird stamp and this is the one without the beak and I'm stamping it with a berry burst ink and then because it's a lighter color and so once I have got it positioned, I ink up the stamp and then uh, stamp my image onto that particular cardstock. And you can see how easy the Misty is use, um, when you use the Misty, it, because it's all lined up and you don't have to worry about moving them. So here I have actually made six uh, inserts, but I only have four panels, but I will cut some more. When I do a large class, I need to use my electronic cutters. And so I figure, you know what? I should actually offer this as a mass production um, kit. And this is my new line for people who just wants to stamp and piece them together and don't have to worry about fussy cutting or fussy die cutting. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is I'm gonna clean up all my uh, ink off the Misty and if you have a um, two mini Misty it actually works better because if you want to make additional more you don't have to worry about positioning it and you can make more. So now I'm only going to show you the one Misty because um, most people only have one and so what I'm doing now is I remove the hummingbird, uh, the one without the beak and then here I am showing you uh, the second hummingbird with the beak, okay? I'm looking around for my hummingbird uh, beak because I misplaced it and I know it's somewhere you know, amongst my mess when videotaping it, but in due in course, I've actually found it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put the um, hummingbird back into the set and take out the second hummingbird. And here I want to show you a trick. So you know that the hummingbird is photopolymer. And so what I'm taking is either a copy marker or a Sharpie marker, just the black one, and coloring it and just letting it dry because the black and the red are so uh, will stain your photopolymer and so I wanted to show you why it's um, I did it this way so make sure that your uh, when you finish inking it make sure that it is dry and I'm just blotting it with scrap paper Once the image is dry, what you're going to do is you're going to line up your second hummingbird and basically the trick is, is that any of the white spaces between the hummingbird, you really want that covered on your second uh, stamp set, okay? So it is actually very tricky, but once you got that all set, it's actually not so bad. So here, what I'm doing is I'm just carefully lining it up right at the eyeball area and, and then kind of like moving my stamp piece up and down so that you can actually see it. Or you can even move it side by side so that when you're, uh, your stamp, you have your stamp image and then you have your stamp, rubber stamp, the photopolymer stamp, and then move it to the side and then align it that way so that they're not overstacking each other. So when you get this all in place, it's actually very easy to mass produce with your MISTI. And again, you take your time. Once you get your, um, your position down pack, close the lid and then ink away. So the next ink that I'm laying down is using the Fresh Fig ink and just inking it. And you'll once you got that ink, you'll find it's really, really easy to um, again mass produce. When you are laying down the next piece, just make sure that the corner left is lined up corner to corner and straight uh, up and down as well as across. And using that corner as your guideline. And then each time when you ink up your, your hummingbird, re-ink the hummingbird and then stamp it down. And then that will give you a crisp, clean look. I left my thanks on the Big Misty as I knew that I was going to use it again for filming. And then rather than realigning it, I just used the same uh, same Misty because I'm actually making more of this card. So again, I'm aligning the bottom left corner to the Misty and inking the image and stamping it. And what it, what a great What's so great about the Misty is that you can mass produce the cards when you need to make lots. I love my Misty and I love stamping up product. With mass production kit, you can actually use it in a class or gather your friends to stamp together. Producing beautiful cards, same image, same card, all at once. Heck. If you have friends coming over and you have an extra Misty on hand, one can stamp the hummingbird and the other one can stamp all the sentiments. And then you can really, really mass produce. And I'm sure that you can do about a hundred cards within the hour.
Next, I cut five inches of the copper ribbon, and I love this ribbon. And what you're gonna do is gonna fold it in half and weave it through the hole. And then for the sliding part, position your insert to the panel, ensuring that the insert is centered to the semicircle. Then add mini dimensionals at the bottom and regular dimensionals dots are surrounding the stamp panel. You want to make sure that it is moving uh, freely. So before you place it back down onto the base card, Make sure that when you are adding your, uh, your panel that it, it actually moves freely. You want some room to let it uh, slide. And you want to test it all out. Now I'm not going to film all the cards for you. I'm just going to show you how the, this particular card is placed. So once you got your dimensionals onto your the back of the panel, uh, you're going to add it to your base card. Now where you see that there are areas that are raised, so I'm adding more dimensionals on the ends to make sure that it doesn't collapse when you're mailing it. And so then what you're gonna do is remove the backing and then place it onto your base card. So the next th step is to add your sentiment and the high is glued to the fresh fig. I also add glue to the right hand side because when you're adding glue, if you add glue to the whole uh, circular uh, piece, sometimes the glue will get into the grid and then your insert piece may not slide. So now I have die cut four of the flowers and one of the branch from the seasonal layer thalets. And so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue that down. And then for the flowers, what I have done was I, um, I sponged the edges with the fresh fig ink with my finger dauber. And then once that is done, then glue ahead, go ahead and glue the flowers into position onto the branch. If you wish to purchase the mass production kit, email me. Uh, the mass production kit comes with the You Move Me stamp set, five pre-card cuts cards with the envelope uh, window frame cut, five whisper white envelopes, 20 flowers, five branches, five one inch white circles, five one and a quarter inch fresh fig circles, five slider insert cards, 25 inches of the copper trim, and then to finish off all your cards, you'll also need fresh fig ink, finger dauber, multi-purpose glue, stamp a jiggy or misty, and then dimensionals. And then to tie in the, into this month's special, 
uh, what we have is called Bonus Day, and it's valid if you purchase any products that are over sixty dollars, and you'll get six dollars spending spree in August. Plus, I will match it all. And of course, it's only through me giving you twelve dollars spending free ballot from August first to August thirty first. If you're living far away, there will be shipping costs, of course. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, just email me. My email address is Liz Holloway at gmail dot com. And then if you are interested in the products that I have used, they are listed in the description below. And be sure to click on the like button. This tells me that you have learned something new. And if you have any questions, let me know. Tell your friends. And then you can follow me on Facebook pages at Liz Holloway Design or the Canadian Paper Craft Cards and Scrapbook. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. And let me be your demonstrator and you automatically be put in my Stampers Plus VIP Facebook group when you have reached a certain value. Thanks for taking the time and joining in with me today and be sure to come back soon. Bye for now.